hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys i hope you guys are doing safe and well it has been such a long time since i filmed a video so hi um remember me i hope you do also just to get this out of the way i literally i'm wearing the i'm wearing my ud is it a ud or a ud i don't know but it's so comfortable and that's why i look like ginormous definitely should have worn something more presentable but I just want to be comfy, I want to be cosy, I want to have a nice little catch up with you guys and just to say hi. I have been wanting to come back to YouTube for such a long time and then I'm not going to lie like a lot of the times I just feel bad because I'm like I am the worst YouTuber in the history of YouTubers um, because I just, uh, I don't know, at one point the reason why I stopped filming actually is I wanted to come back on and be like hey guys. I'm not going to make YouTube videos anymore, thank you so much for your support. But the thing is, in all the time I've not been on YouTube, I have missed it so much. Like I forget that as much as I want it as a job, like that would be the ideal situation and I would absolutely love that. I just forget how therapeutic it is, how much I love engaging with you guys and just having you guys watch my channel. Like I just, every time I come back, I literally go back to like 10 views and 20 views. Whereas before I used to have 100, which, which to me is a lot. I know to some people, obviously it's not going to be. I just feel like I do take a hit every time I go off. So I need to just be consistent with it. And I just thought what better time than to come back and do a little Ramadan series. For the longest time I've just wanted to do videos where I'm just on theme or I'm just talking about the hijab or I'm just talking about Islam but then I just I feel bad because I'm like you know what I'm not the perfect Muslim but is anyone to be honest but yeah so I just want to come back during Ramadan. By the time you will see this I feel like it will be Ramadan so if it's not early Ramadan Barak if it is then Ramadan Barak I hope that we achieve all our goals and du'as in this month and I don't know about you guys but I really really need it and I just want to put this out there as well that whilst we are doing Ramadan and we have a roof over our head and we have food let's not forget our brothers and sisters that are suffering around the world and please keep them in your du'as and may Allah have mercy on them I mean so good to be back so let's just have a little catch up I don't even know at this point how long I've been off of youtube all i know is that my mental health has not been good and it's something that i have spoken about openly on this channel i feel like it's gonna sound so silly but i feel like because i don't make youtube videos and it's not an outlet for me like it gets worse but at the same time i need a break if i don't make videos like i don't feel myself but then i'm not myself anyway i don't i just don't even know how to explain it babes but basically, I have missed this so much. But how are you guys? Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. How is everything? This is going to come as such a surprise to you. I want to say a lot of you because I feel like two people know that I'm coming back to YouTube and that's it. If you have been a subscriber of mine, then hi. I promise to be more consistent. So this Ramadan, I want to have a little mini Ramadan series. Just talking about how it's going first week of Ramadan. I have iftar as well at my sister-in-law's house. So we can do a cute little get ready with me for that. So many exciting videos to planned. And then after Ramadan, I want to do a glow up series. And I feel like I've talked about this a lot. And if you've been on my channel a lot, confidence, self-esteem. Um, things like weight and things like that I've struggled with for a very long time my mental health as well of course I've struggled with for such a long time and I just feel like do you know what I'm in my 30s we need to switch things up because I'm not I refuse to live the next 10 years like this absolutely not and I have been absolutely loving Tamko she's another fellow Derby girl and I used to watch her videos believe it or not when she was on about 800 subscribers and she's nearly on a million like I am so proud of her and I just feel like all those years that I was doing YouTube if I just kept consistent I could have done it but not to worry because now was my time I've got my vision board what is this called what is this called it's not a movie what is it um, video oh my 
god okay i've got my vision board video coming up and it'll just be so cute so i'm so excited for that i have so so many exciting ideas and if you guys have been on my channel you will know that i'm in inconsistent yeah let's rephrase that actually because we're trying to speak more positively about ourselves so i used to be an inconsistent queen and i will be so much more consistent with my videos even if i'm just sitting here just talking crap like i will do that also have you realized that i'm in a new background i now officially have my own bedroom like i oh. guys that's just a little emotional but basically my brother got married and moved out and oh yeah my brother got married <laughs> i wanted to also film that as a vlog but when someone in your family gets married like you do not realize how stressful it is it is so stressful even though everything was basically sorted it's just you no know, i don't know what it was babes but it was stressful you know what i mean anyways um i got his room I dipped it and that's what you get for being a favourite sibling. Anyway, I also got myself some tulips today and can we just say like that is such a big thing for me. I want to say, I was thinking about this this morning, did I, have I ever got myself flowers and I don't know, I think maybe once but I can't remember when that once was. So today is the first day that I'm considering I brought myself flowers. I bought some tulips because I wanted some for ages, look how cute they look and they match my hijab as well kind of. Anyway i'm just a little self-love queen guys i'm gonna have to brave it i'm gonna have to brave it and i'm gonna have to <laughs> just get over my fear of filming in public again tam Cole was in the same city as me and if you're from this city no one films like unless you're on your phone like no one will take a camera out i promise you in my all my 32 years of living i've never seen someone get a camera out and film themselves but i need to get over that fear so we're gonna have solo dates we're gonna have solo cinema date are you joking do i know where to go in the cinema no do i know what room to go in no do i need know how to go and get my own ticket no it sounds so self-explanatory and i guess i get that and i'll know what i'm doing but at this moment in time i've never done it on my own i haven't been seen many years i haven't been ever ever been to a coffee shop and just sat there alone i tell you we're gonna glow up together we are glowing up together we're physically mentally emotionally spiritually seminally you know what i mean like it we're gonna do it so yeah i'm really excited i just want to come on and say hi to you guys i also want to show you this because obviously i'm gonna do my little ramadan series so i have got the ramadan planner and i'm actually thinking to do it every day so basically it has like your voluntary prayers your deeds lifts your dua lift, lift, lists <laughs> so you have like a little dua one-on-one -on -one. i got mine from amazon i think i got ripped off because i did pay full price for it and i think it's like 6.15 tesco's or something but i don't know if you have this which i really want to keep consent oh my god why can't i talk i really want to keep consistent with but basically it's your day one of ramadan and then it's like are you fasting today yes or no um if you're not then pay or make up your fast a month year uh grand daily quran quote uh your little schedule quran your little checklist here so your little slur tracker a daily reminder like your zikr good deeds charity daily reflection why can't i talk daily reflection so today's wins what was difficult what can be improved and how you feel at 10 and i just really really love this and it's got a little daily reminder and i don't know if to do it every day or if that will be boring content on tiktok by the way follow me on tiktok samina.r you know you know you know um but yeah it's just really good and i'm actually gonna fill it in i do need to have a little read of it so basically yesterday I had like such a massive declutter of my room. I had a little refresh. All ready for Ramadan. I'm really, really excited. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I will leave it in, down in the description what it's called. And it's by Dina Aziz. But again, I will leave that down if I remember. What else do I need to catch you up on? And um, just a like massive apology for disappearing off the face of the earth. But then I kind of didn't because I'm still always here. But just not on YouTube. I'm calling it right now. But, like I'm going to go on this video one year from now. And I'm going to be like, I called it. I called it. Inshallah, this will be my full-time job. And you're going to basically sit through my videos, hopefully. And see me make it happen. And 
we're going to be manifesting our dreams we're going to be on this self-love journey like i will record the highs and the lows i'm not gonna lie the lows are pretty low surely you had them back bottom jeans boots with a fur should have got locked anyway okay no i probably should <laughs> anyway yeah the lows are low but that's what we're going to work on and yeah like i said guys i don't want to live the next 10 years like this like so just against my own soul not to blow smoke my own trumpet um, but i give so much love to other people and i feel like it's time to i feel like it's time we need to do that for ourselves and like if you have insecurities we all do like we're gonna work through it together somebody just flushed the toilet one minute please yeah, i don't think you can hear it anymore but we're gonna work on it together and anyway my point was do you like my room i feel like this is such an aesthetic background apart apart not not apart from the door obviously but i can't exactly take it off you know what i mean but i feel like it goes anyways this room used to look so different and i was like babes it needs a little change around this drawer used to be lime green i don't know what my brother was thinking he had lime green lampshade i need to get a lampshade i've still not done that i've still got my hello autumn cushion because it, i'm just an autumn queen we all know this anyways i really like it what do you guys think might put some led strips like here going up i'm not sure if that'll make it look a bit tacky or not yeah we're just gonna guys we're gonna have so much fun i'm um, also want to buy a new phone and you i want to get a new ipad i want to get a new camera i'm aware that this camera has a shh sound in the background and i'm aware that it's very annoying so if you're still subscribed to me thank you so much that is loyalty to its highest level babe thank you so much i really appreciate it stick around because their quality inshallah is going to get better audio is going to get better i'm going to get better and you guys are great anyway anyways um i don't know if there's anything else that i need to say uh, guys i've swapped to korean skincare and um i please say mashallah but i can notice such a difference so today i'm just wearing powder all over my face because girl i needed it um and i just wear concealer now and brush my brows and do my lips can you believe it guys can you believe it me neither anyways this is rough i love it i honestly have stopped wearing the full face like i'll wear a little bit of the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i feel like that stays on it's a special occasion and stuff but yeah i just wear concealer now and do my eyebrows and lips again today i've got powder all over so it might look like a wearing foundation but compared to like normal guys i've stopped wearing a lot uh, like a lot of makeup and i'm actually so proud of myself because i didn't think i would ever get this far if you guys could see my makeup collection just a few lip products like my makeup now fits in here i know i know well, if you made it through this video you're an actual og like you're literally an og i want my youtube videos but can i just tell you right just before i go i really want my youtube vi video wow <laughs> i really want my youtube videos to be a comfort like i want you to be able to just have it in the little background still watch me obviously so have it in the background and just like get ready and like feel like you're talking to a friend like i want my videos to feel like you're on facetime with me it's like cute little vibes i think there might be a podcast coming out but anyway no let's just okay let's not jump the gun i need to <laughs> keep consistent with it, this first let me just quickly show you what i got from primark me being the worst minimalist in the world but let me just quickly show you i probably should have included this in the beginning of the video but um here we are so i've just kept in here i'll show you what i got from primark because it has been a long time since i went in there so first thing i got saw uh was this pro bond no bond pro repair looks like a little you know what dupe and this is just the intensive moisture hair mask do you know and it, this was 450 by the way do you know what i just realized didn't put in my hair yesterday and i had a bath oh what am i like this is this is just an og product and if you saw me raving about it that means you watch my youtube a lot and my instagram a lot at the time uh but the creamy face wash which i'm sure used to be two pound mm -hmm. anyways uh it's cheap 50 and this is just great and then i got it and i was like oh my god i love this so much and then i remembered that i'm more into cream skincare so yeah <laughs> oh i didn't use this either did i do did i remember to do anything when i had a shower yesterday probably not 
but I got this bubble bar and it's this little cotton candy and it was two pounds also what's going on with the prices because uh, yeah okay um so that's lovely couldn't use that oh and you know what it was just a nice little pink vibe look what I got I got the bronzing why can I not speak today I got the bronzing drops what does this remind you of yeah yes i'm gonna just little do a little watch <laughs> why did i say it like that oh my god number one it's so watery and creamy like you do need to be careful like yeah you need the tiniest bit so look at my whole hand like that little bit just literally covered my whole hand so i've wiped it off now kind of like you can still see it so i just want to put a tiny bit in my moisturizer but these were three pounds and it's the dupe of you know what so that was amazing just got a little cuticle oil just to have hydrated cuticles really but i got this and i just thought it's a bit of a bargain so it's three nail clippers and they were one pound and you know what if you're anything like my household you will never find nail clippers but got a nice little vitamin lip oil this was 250 again i feel like this would have been a quid you know just cost of living in that in it quasi living oh my god and then the next thing i got some perfumes and if you know me i'm trying to get through my perfumes and i'm doing so well until i brought these anyways we're just gonna slide past that but this is the jewel 20 amber and vanilla guys this i could not leave it also reminded me of a little dupe dupe as well when i tell you i literally smell like honey i literally smell like honey and in the best way possible like i smell like a little baked dessert put me in the bakery because i'm smelling great do you know what i mean like it's oh, it is basically i know autumn and winter are going but is it literally autumn in a bottle and it's so good and it i sprayed it on my sister and it lasted the whole like trip that we were out as well which was great and we were out for ages next one i've got was this this is such pretty packaging again this was six pounds and it is a rose perfume and um listen this i okay so if you know me again you know that i'm into perfumes i love them my favorite scents in perfumes are tend to be orange blossom and rose and i know they're completely different perfumes so i'm either a rose girl or a little orange blossom girl oh it smells oh, look how pretty the packaging is guys so pretty so it smells like spring and summer in a bottle like i can just in my, hang on let me just close it I've literally ripped it which is lovely but it literally smells like spring summer in a bottle like wearing a, like a flowy maxi dress just for the cute pink job just looking all cute you know it's just it's giving it's giving girly fresh floral love it and also i've realized that i always take my expensive perfumes to work so these are now going to be my work perfumes but I'm gonna smell great like i'm really excited about that to be honest that is the end of my video guys it's gone on for far too long so yeah thank you so much for watching i'm very excited to be back and inshallah i will see you guys in the next video but yeah ramadan barak once again and i hope it's a blessed month for all of us and please keep me in your duas and yeah i shall see you guys in the next one